hello. Welcome to another wonderful day out here on Pottery Island. And here's the deal for today. We have Sharkathon coming up. A couple of days until the tournament starts. And I have three things that I would like to accomplish today. Number one, I want to get some practice in. I want to get myself a shark. So I brought the big spinning rod that I'm going to be casting out past the third sandbar, swimming that guy out, live bait. We're going to see if we can't get one. Number two, I need some bait. I'm going to be catching and uh, keeping everything that I can keep so that I can stock up on all of the bait that I need for the tournament next week. Third, I am not coming out here for my health and just for fun. Well, I can't. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of doing that a little bit. Yeah. I need dinner. So not only am I catching bait, I got to get dinner for my girls as well. I'm going to be working a lot of lines. I've got Rich uh, waiting for me now. We're going to be pulling up in just a moment. And then my dad's going to be joining us in just a bit. We're all just kind of getting together and go have a nice day out at the beach. So why don't you come along and join us. Let's go have a little fun. Walk up out here and the first thing that happens, don't even get a chance to say hi without Rich pulling in some fish. Meat for the bucks. Yeah, that'll go in. All right, all right, I need to get some uh, lines out. Well, you uh, missed out on a little bit of an ordeal here. So this first rod, I got it set up for a shark and I got it paddled way out there. And in the process of doing so, swimming it out, I got tangled up in some line over here. About $30 worth of 80, 100 pound braid. You know, I had to get my line untangled and everything. I ended up pulling that whole thing in and check this out. Somebody is missing a really expensive shark outfit. Oh, uh, if it's you, if you are missing uh, about $80 worth of shark rig out here from Mustang Island, I got your back. Tell your family, I mean the entire family. I want all the friends, I want all your buddies on Facebook. Tell them to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment in the comment section down below and I'll get you your rig back to you. <laughs> oh, 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 we got a fish on. Let's see what we got here. We got this guy set up for pumping on. The way it's hitting makes me think we got whiting. I owe Rich a whiting for the bait I put on that shark run. I'm hoping I can pay him back for this one. Take that, that's a keeper. Uh, I think that's a keeper. Let's check it out. I think I'm gonna throw down buy some right now. I, I got some in my tackle bag. Go ahead, have at it. You sure? Yeah, that's what they're there for. Not a pump, no, not a shark. But a fish. Bait size guy, that's okay. That's okay, so I'm gonna make this quick, but I want to show you what we're using to catch fish. And we've got a few off camera, like whiting and stuff. We're catching them every cast. Let me show you what we got here. Uh, this is kind of an interesting topic of conversation. We're using these Pompano rigs, and I like this brand Tsunami. I'm gonna give you a link in the description of the video down here to uh, get these things online, and the reason for that is um, I buy them online because these things are like five or six dollars a pack at the uh, bait stand. You can get them for like a buck, a buck 50. I don't know, you get them for a lot less if you go to the link that I'm providing for you down there. Um, that's where I get them so I can save a little bit of money. And you can see right there, five bucks for that guy. And uh, little black tips are just eating these things alive. One hit on those things and they tear that hook right off, they're useless. This whole rig comes pre-assembled and I'm just using cut shrimp uh, with a little shrimp fish bite. And it's working so well, I'm gonna go ahead and put on another pomp rig and see if I can't double down on some of these things we're catching. That drum I got a minute ago was on one of these rigs as well. Anything else? Um, man, I'm good to go. I appreciate it. Um, is there a chance that. we get to see you again? Yeah. We will see you. Thank you for the bait and everything. I appreciate it. The so Rich has got to go. 
and we're trading them off. I ran into my dad in town when I was on my way to the beach, and so I uh, went and caught him in the drive-thru for some breakfast tacos. He told him he needed to come out here and do a little fishing with me, so him and my mom are coming to hang out. Hey, I've got sushi, chips, and dip. Sushi. Yeah. I got something for you. I've got whiting. For to take home? <laughs> Not take home. Use one for baby. Oh, 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 oh. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use both. But you baby. brought sushi and donuts. I brought whiting. Now, that's okay, what I bring okay, you today. Okay. Yeah, I, I would like one off. whiting. Yeah, that's, that's what sushi and donuts get to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Finally. We got a couple of rods all packed up and ready now. Can I cut him up? No, I got some of that blue bag you can cut up. That's my live one I'm about to put on this rod again. Yeah, since these guys are freshly baited and ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the big shark rod and get a fresh bait on him. Sometimes these little guys, they have a little bit more kick to them. So they'll hit it with a little bit more tenacity than the bigger guys will. All right. Now, let's see if we can keep some baits in the water for a minute and uh, maybe have a little beach time montage, you know? She goes her own way, like I don't give a damn girl, and my God, she owns it. So many heartbreaks, goes back to 2014, and I think that she knows it. And if you've seen her, I know that you would believe it, cause I, I know that you'd want her to. Everyone's taking their shot, but missing out on the cut. I think she knows that she drives them crazy when she's looking like that. The way she's moving makes them want it so bad. It's the attention that we wish that we had. Yeah, it's almost cruel, cause I want her to. Oh, yeah, I'm Okay, I uh, brought in the shark rod. Check it out. And my bait is still alive and kicking. He's good. So, I need to clean him up a little bit, take the seaweed off of him, swim him back out and do this again. Bait buffet. <laughs>
That was a blast, but the day is not even close to being over yet. We had three tasks this morning. The first was to catch a shark. We failed at that one. Second task was to get a bunch of bait for the tournament. Got that. Pretty stoked about it. The third thing that we needed to do was get some dinner going. I just went and picked up the girls, and we need to do a little bit of a head count on all the fish that we got, and then we're going to fillet them up and get dinner going. So why don't you sit here and relax with me while we fillet some stuff? Yes, Adrian, you will get some in just a bit. So that's our meat haul for tonight. Not too bad. Not sure what his issue is. Hey, that is a solid dinner for us. She know that I want to be good for you. She know that I want to be good for you. I do. But sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad. Oh, can't you see? I'm just being weak mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you I think you know that I care for you I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Sometimes I can't be there Baby, can't you see That I'm just being me mm -hmm. Sometimes we just collide and and we keep on fighting, but we'll be okay. Doing all this playing? <laughs> That's making me hungry. <laughs> that, my friends, is the last one. We are ready to start cooking some stuff up. It was so cute for a second there. They were like hugging, and it was like this little, and then as soon as they hit record, they're like, Ugh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we're making dinner. Thank goodness I brought it. We're doing panko tonight. And we're doing mashed potatoes from last night. I'm trying to batter up some fish here, but, uh, Ash has some things to say about that. Luckily, well, I managed to get some cat food while we were at it, so let's get that. Meow. It's like a circus lion. Now, all of a sudden, somebody has manners. That's what the skipjack is for, by the way. That's Ash. But I'll give that to him in a bit. He has to eat it on the floor. I don't know why that is. eating them because they're so hot. Open your mouth. Okay. <laughs> because you can't stop eating them because they're so hot. You're such a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Which one do you like best? Because your, your tongue's on fire because you won't stop eating them even though they're burning your mouth. So no? we are totally dragging this out and it's uh, a <laughs> It's going a little bit longer than we expected. Now, thank you so much for joining us for this video today. We have another amazing one uh, in store for you right over here. We will catch you in the next video. And happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month. <laughs> <laughs>